Hi lovelies, so today's video is going to be a haul video um, and I'm also just going to throw in a few life updates for you that want to know. So the first part of this video is basically going to be updates on what's going on in my life um, and then we'll get straight to the haul. So they are primarily um, clothing, um, accessories I guess you could say and beauty. So I'm going to get straight into the video so if you are interested then please keep watching. Okay, so for my life updates, if you don't want to see this jibber jabber, um, I will put basically like a little comment as to where the actual haul starts. So basically, um, my absence from YouTube has basically been from starting uni, work, um, and I've also got a new puppy, so we're kind of introducing her into the house and it takes a lot of time to which I can't really film um, because it just takes up so much time. So yeah, if you want to see my little puppy, she is nine weeks old yesterday. Um, yeah, if you want to go onto my YouTube, you can see pictures of her. She is absolutely beautiful. And I will leave my username here and I will also put it in the down bar for you as always. Probably the most notable change that you will notice is my hair. Were a subscriber when I was blonde, obviously you can see the difference. If you are new, go and check out some of my older videos so you can see how like white yellowy blonde I was. Gone for the whole natural ombre look going from dark to light. There's a few ashy blondes in there and underneath here I still have kept some of the blonde um, but it's just not as noticeable anymore and it was quite simply because I was just fed up of being like this typical yellowy blonde. It didn't suit me as much as what this does I personally think but everyone's got a different opinion I suppose. Um, so yeah, it's just literally like a dark brown up at the roots, going down to uh, ashy blonde, and then it's got a few darker highlights pulled in so that it just gives you that beautiful ombre effect. I have got a blog post uh, with my new hair, which I took photos of the very day I had it done, so again, I'll leave that down in the bar below. Uh, what else have I got to tell you? Oh, um, I actually got two of my weight loss goal. My goal was to lose two stone uh, one pound. The one pound makes every difference. Um, so yeah, I've managed to reach that. I got to that last week. So I feel like a new woman. Yeah, I'm incredibly happy about that. Um, I was going to be making a video of how I lost my weight and I did trial it like quite a few times, but I just found that I kind of just rambled on and I wasn't really straight to the point. So as an alternative, if you guys want to know how I lost my weight, leave a question down below and what I will do alternatively is kind of write out your questions on the video and then answer them if that makes sense. So I kind of answer all your questions as opposed to just rambling on. So yeah, if you do have any questions, leave them down below, but I will leave a link in the description and all that jazz. So I don't think there's anything else that I need to tell you, I don't think, so I will crack on with the video. Okay, so I'm going to start with beauty products first just because they excite me so much. I went to Cardiff on Saturday and I visited a Mac store and the Mac in Debenhams. Um, they had a 10% off uh, throughout cosmetics and fragrance, so I thought what a time to pick it up. I had my 20% staff discount on there. I picked up a few things. So the first thing I picked up was the Pro Palette Eyeshadow uh, times 15 And this is basically just the insert for the palette that you can get. They didn't actually have the palette uh, in stock, I don't think. So I just picked up the insert, and I will be getting that at the later date. I also, strangely enough, didn't pick up any uh, refill pans. It just comes in this, and I'll just show you what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this plenty of times. That's basically what it just looks like. Obviously, you can fit your eyeshadow pounds in here. So basically, you can fill them with your favourite eyeshadows. They're travel-friendly. Um, um, and this is in the shade of Dip Down. And this is just basically a dark brown fluid line, I guess. So I could use it for my liquid eyeliner, um, or gel eyeliner. Um, just to give you that softer brown look, uh, but I also primarily use it for my eyebrows. It's a fantastic product. It lasts all day and because my life is pretty hectic, I need makeup that lasts. So my eyebrows do not move an inch. Next I picked up the ever famous Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20. Uh, I'm sure you guys have heard about this so much on YouTube. It doesn't crease, it just looks flawless, it brightens you up straight away. I cannot fault this product 
one bit. So I picked up the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in NC20. So this is what it looks like and I already have the Studio Sculpt Foundation and so I really wanted to try this. It's definitely full coverage, you need like the slightest amount. It goes a really long way, it just sits like satin on your skin. It could be wrong but apparently it releases something that kind of just grabs all that oil and just soaks it up so that you don't look oily that makes sense and it just lasts a very very long time okay and next I picked up a lipstick because I just had to and this is a matte lipstick um, this is on the shade Diva and I do actually have it on today it's a dark red plum color if that makes sense so I think it's perfect for autumn and the quality of this product is just just absolutely stunning um, it's matte but it's very creamy, it lasts a long time because it effectively stains the lips. Eva is beautiful, it's definitely like a shade for me, like it's just perfect. Okay so I picked the True Match foundation up simply just because of Lauren Curtis, she like just raves about it so much so I figured I had to pick it up. Um, I really do like it, this is the one that I use on a day to day basis. Okay so the next I picked up the 17 Foie paint, and a heavy duty under eye concealer and it just looks... Um, and it has a little mirror on here as well, and it's basically just in a pan, like so. Um, this is nice, it's very creamy, it doesn't crease, um, it doesn't go patchy or anything like that. Um, it's probably a light to medium coverage, I would say. Next I picked up the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder, and it's just a basically like a white translucent powder. And this is fantastic for under your eyes. It has like the whitest payoff ever, so it's really good for under your eyes to really brighten them up while setting your foundation at the same time. Next I picked up something from Essence, and these are the lip liners. I got mine in Cute Pink, In The Nude, and Wish Me A Rose going along that way. They're fantastic, they stay on for a really good amount of time, and they are only like 99p. Okay, so I popped into Wilkinson's and I picked up this stippling brush and it's just the most beautiful brush ever. It's so dense and it just applies like product complete like so flawlessly. Okay, I also picked up a few lip products. Uh, the first two I picked up are from number seven and this one here is called Glace and this one here is called Ice Pink. Glace is a stay perfect fan um stay perfect lipstick. And then Ice Pink is a moisture drench one. This is what Ice Pink looks like. Definitely a frost. And then the next colour is absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it is a plum colour. But when you look at it in a certain light, it's also very gold. I had two lipsticks sent to me, and I've been using these on a ridiculous like basis. I've been wearing these probably every day. And they are by Calypso Cosmetics. And these are like the tester ones. The one I have is DHQ. This is a very bright pink. It's basically like candy yum yum. And then the other one I have is Love Sponge. And this one is the one I have been using forever. So Love Sponge is this one here. It's a very subtle rose dark pink. And then I'll also swatch DHQ for you. Which is that one there. I think. So last but not least for the beauty products, I picked up um, another iHeart makeup product uh, from the brand Makeup Revolution. One I picked up is, is this all I need? And it is a brown nude, I would say. Look quite corally as well, so there, there's that one. So I have um, purchased quite a few bits of clothes. The first thing I picked up was this um, shoulder bag from H&M. Um, it's like a patent leather with a gold chain. Um, it's also, if you can see, got these tassels on here. Um, I picked this up for £4 from H&M. I'm wearing this a lot. It just simply goes with every outfit. And I also purchased another bag, and this is from Primark. And again, this is... Okay, what is the deal with me saying Primark? Is it Primark or is it Primark? From where I'm from, it's always been Primark. But whenever I say Primark everyone's just like a, on the attacking bandwagon like no it's Primark um yeah so yeah it's another shoulder bag and it's um like a deep plum burgundy color um and I just love the actual de like the detail on this bag it's just gorgeous um again just a little clasp and then on the inside it's got this really gorgeous vintagey looking pattern and I think this one was eight pounds I think just my top casually opening up rude so next I picked up this scarf from Primark 
Um, clearly you can see on the one side it is tartan and on the other side it is dog's tooth or the hound's tooth, whatever you like to call it. And it is massive, absolutely, like, humongous. Was six pounds. This was beautiful. And I do believe this hasn't been out very long either. So recently I did a collaboration with a brand called Vitstar. Um, they are based in Hong Kong and they are just, oh, fantastic. The range of clothing and products they have in general, they're very bang on trend. Um, they're just absolutely fantastic. First thing they sent me was this um, beautiful cream backpack thing here um it does look lopsided when you look at it first but once you put stuff in there it doesn't um it's pretty much because it's like empty and it's got these straps and then i also wear it like as a bag like this on my wrist um i have done a blog post on this and if you want to see the pictures of me wearing this stuff then i'll put that down below gorgeous like leathery material it's very soft I love the colour because it's creamy, it's peachy, it's just beautiful. And you could get, like, a lot of stuff in here, do you know what I mean? And this is just perfect, like, for the whole back to school, back to uni uh, type thing. So it's very uh, chic. And they also sent me a, another backpack. Sorry I keep, ch like, switching. I just don't know. I just can't. I'm fidget today. It's a snakeskin bag here. And it's got, like, a gold zip material. Again, with the straps at the back. And you've got this little handle to hold it on here. Um, I absolutely love this. I find that you either hate it or you love it. A bit like Marmite. And I'm in love with it. I think it's just so, so beautiful. And the quality of it as well is just amazing. Um, I've been wearing this with a lot of like plain outfits just to kind of jazz them up a bit. Okay, so next they sent me this um, Barton cardigan. Um, I think that's how you can explain it. Um, it's a scooped neck pretty long I would say it just comes down below my bum and yeah it is so thick I don't know if you can see the quality you probably won't be able to uh, but it is just ridiculously thick like it's crazy and for the price it is so incredibly cheap but I just love like the red just gleaming through it um, very autumn appropriate it's super super warm and I think that this again can add that beautiful touch to any outfit and it also has pockets. They also sent me another product, um, which I don't have on me at the minute, like I said. Um, but if you want to check out what it was, go visit my blog. I, yeah, the next thing they sent me was this fluffy jumper. But it's like that long-haired, really silky, soft material. You know sometimes jumpers, like, after you wear them for a while, like, they get ruined. This has just stayed the exact same as to how it was in the beginning. Um, it's been washed, it's still very silky, still very soft. I am going so dark. So, yeah, I absolutely love this. And I did patch it up with the snakeskin bag for this one. Um, just to kind of jazz it up. But this looks awesome with leggings, uh, jeans, anything. It's just gorgeous and I find that if you have a blouse that has like one of those bows at the front so it can drag down um that works just incredibly well with it so I picked up this uh dress from Primark um I did have my eyeballs on this when it first originally come out but I wasn't 100% sure on it uh so when I found out it was in the sale from 13 down to 5 I had to get it it has like these white panels at the side of the dress um, and it's a very pink blush colour. Even though it seems like quite a summery dress, I find that you could really turn this into an autumn piece. Um, I personally think that this would look great with like skin coloured tights, um, like a bowler hat. And it also looks, even though they're quite a different variants in colour, like these two, the bag I showed you previously, looks so beautiful with it. Uh, check on some brogues and you are there like racer back vest top that has like these leaf prints on it this was three pounds in pre-mark and finally probably one of my favorite pieces i was a bit unsure of it at first um but it's this super long kimono that's like ah, it's still coming so it's basically a very sheer kimono it's got like these cropped sleeves um here and not only did I just absolutely adore, like, the pattern of this kimono, um, I pretty much just love the fact that, because when we go from summer to autumn, you kind of go through that real 
terrible transition of is it cold, is it warm. So if you wanted like a light cover up but something that still gives you that extra bit of cover, the light kimono is the way to go and I, I picked this up for £7. And this is a size 6 because it is quite oversized. Okay, so that was my haul and my life updates for you today. Um, I'm so sorry that I've been just so MIA off YouTube. Like, life is just so hectic and sometimes you just need a break. So yeah, I will be definitely doing more videos. Um, I've got a week off work so that's pretty much why I've been doing some videos. But I will be keeping up to date with it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this today.